RAM prices went up. Depending on where you are in the world, they may have gone up a little bit or literally over double in price. Why is that? Well, since I buy a lot of components and I talk a lot with suppliers, I do have a bit of insight. As far as I know, this is just a little supply issue. Nothing crazy, little supply shortage, which means there is going to be a little hike in price until the new gap for supply is filled. Apparently, some factories have changed where they're selling their DRAM and it's not really going in consumer and gaming stuff. Pretty simple, which caused a catastrophic change in pricing. Now, of course, depending on where you are, it may not be as big, but for example, here in Italy, some stuff literally is double the price right now. However, I don't want to spend the video discussing how it is, why it is, and all the intricacies of it, because I think, yes, it may be interesting, but it's not practical. So what I'm doing here today is giving you some practical tips in case you need to buy RAM or a new gaming PC in this period and how you can avoid RAM pricing impacting you too much. Because there are ways to get RAM for a good price still, or at least to get still a good deal, even if you're paying more. Welcome back at the PS Use, and let's get started. Now let's start, first of all, from the most common problem, and that is if you do want to buy a gaming PC right now, all brand new, maybe you're still on DDR4 and you want to buy DDR5 platform. So there are three things you may want to do. Option A is going to be a lot of stores won't have updated pricing yet. So you can literally go out there, go in your local PC shop, maybe in your local chain that sells hardware, and you may still find good deals. Online, I think it's going to be a lot harder because the online world adapts a lot faster. But if you're buying in brick and mortar store, you'll be able to buy stuff still. For example, as you probably know, I do sell computers. I do have a little shop and now I am very updated on the matters. But as my personal policy, I am not increasing the pricing on the PCs I built before just because of new pricing, because I simply don't want to make money off the back of consumers. When I sell a PC, I have my margin there already. So what I bought previously is going to sell at the price I decided previously. I'm not going to increase it because of new price on the RAM. Even I, as I know it, I choose to leave it like this. A lot of PC shops, they just don't know the new pricing. So you can just go and buy what they have on display. And it's probably going to be cheaper than if you have them design a custom PC for you. So that is if you want a pre-built or an already built game PC. That's the easiest way, especially in places like biggest chains, for example, in Italy is, for example, Media World. They won't have the updated pricing because nobody knows. So it's going to be actually an easy buy. Second thing is going to be if you're considering buying used products. So if you want to buy a used gaming PC, you can just go on used market, Facebook marketplace, stuff like that. Most people will have their PC sitting there because they probably put it there during summer when nobody's buying gaming PCs. And maybe it has been sitting there for a while. You can probably still offer them a lower price and they will actually be happy to take it. Or maybe the price they were asking before, they lowered it themselves and now it's a good deal. So that's also a good way to get around it. You can also still find RAM on the used market for decent pricing. I check that because again, not everyone is constantly looking at pricing. And also think about this. Let's say you were selling a kit of RAM for 100 bucks, which nobody was buying because RAM was 100 bucks brand new, even lower. I was buying 32 gigs of RAM this summer for around 70 bucks, which is crazy low. I was making videos about it, recommending everyone upgrades their PC at that moment because it was so cheap to buy RAM. And so these people had their RAM sitting there for three months. Now, if someone came to you after three months when you were asking 100 bucks for your kit and finally offered you 100 bucks, would you accept it? Of course, yes. You wouldn't wonder, wow, maybe it's worth 120. Let me wait another six months. Maybe I can get 120. So use market is also a good option. The third option, is actually a bit trickier, but I think it's going to be the best advice for people willing to build high-end stuff. So shortages generally affect the whole category of products. However, as you know, the most sold item generally is the cheapest. So the most sold RAM is like 32 gigs of 6,000 megahertz CL32, 36, very average stuff, which everyone buys because it's the best value for money. The higher-end stuff, I'm talking the 8,000 megahertz RAM, for example, recently I reviewed a kit from Kingston, 8400 megahertz RAM, CU DIMM with the new integrated clock generator into it. That's stuff for the 1% of people because it's expensive usually. But what happens if there is very low supply on the most common kits? The most common kits go up in price, but the demand on high-end kits still is low. And so the price gap between 
a low to mid range kit and a very high end kit is lower and very often the very high end kits they do not go out of stock they do not get dramatically overpriced for no reason which means it actually makes more sense to spend the extra 40 50 bucks to buy the more expensive kit because now the difference is just 40 or 50 bucks it's no longer 150 or 200 bucks for the most expensive kit if you're in for a high-end pc especially if you're into tweaking or tuning your hardware i made a lot of videos about this unfortunately now that there is the shortage there are less interesting videos but this summer i was telling everyone hey ram is so cheap okay it's important you tune it it's important if you can you buy better stuff because ram speed actually matters a lot today in both intel and amd architectures i have a video where i found out that with a very specific ram configuration the i9 1400k can actually beat in gaming even a 9800x 3d ram does matters a lot and also ram high speed one is what makes the core ultra 9 285k actually perform well and actually makes it a viable cpu and not something pretty underwhelming it's all about tuning if you're into tuning if you're buying a high-end system spending a bit more on a high-end ram kit is a good idea and uh, if now uh, the cheaper ram kit is very expensive and you're literally wasting money on it at least if you're paying a, a little bit extra for a high-end kit it's not that big deal and really trust me because i look at pricing every day there hasn't really been a, an, an uplift in high-end ram kit pricing it's starting to happen now that's why i'm releasing this video tomorrow so you guys can see it immediately also another thing seriously if you just wanted to upgrade your ram because you think you need more ram uh, make sure you actually do sometimes you can just tweak your operating system tweak your system and you can get by with less ram so you can wait because the main thing about what i said in the intro meaning this is just a shortage issue is this is not gonna last if i had to make a prediction i'd say that by christmas or maybe of course as often happens with hardware right after christmas the price is going to go right back down so it's not going to be an issue if you can wait it out if you wanted more performance i recommend you guys check out my ram tuning guide because you can get more performance even from a very cheap kit of course if you have a better kit you can get even more performance but there's that and i also recommend you guys try to wait it out if you can and if you can't you guys use the tips i gave you by going used or in a brick and mortar store and try to find some hidden gems it's also fun to do more than looking online as usually in my videos i want to hear what you guys think because you guys are a lot and you guys are amazing so you very often have better ideas than me so if you do have some and you feel like sharing them with a stranger online drop a comment down below let us know where we can buy ram at good pricing or what you would do and if you watched the video this far drop a like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one bye bye